The men's 100m 2023 was absolutely insane to watch. Close races, amazing battles and a new world champion. Noah Lals took his chance at the world championships in Budapest, Hungary and won his first gold medal over 100 meters. In 9.83, the 26-year-old broke his personal record. Letzil Tebogo finished second also in a personal record in 9.88. Sanel Huge from Great Britain won bronze in the same time. Next year are the Olympic Games in Paris, France. On the 4th of August, we will see who will be the next Olympic champion over 100 meters. At the Olympic Games in Tokyo 2021, Marcel Jacobs wrote history and won in a personal record of 9.80 in front of Fred Curley 9.84 and Andre de Grasse 9.89. If Jacobs is able to defend his title is questionable. In the last two years the Italian had a lot of injury problems and couldn't show his full potential. This season Jacobs missed to make the final over 100 meters at the World Championships in Budapest in a season best of 10.05. A couple months ago, Marcel moved from Italy to America to train in a group with Andre de Crust and Trayvon Promel. Trayvon is another gold medal contender in Paris. After injury issues, he couldn't qualify himself for the World Championships 2023. Last year, he won the bronze medal of 100 meters on home soil at the World Championships in Eugene. Trayvon raised his personal record of 9.76 in Nairobi, Kenya, 2021. Andre de Crust also dealt with injuries in the last two years after his bronze medal in Tokyo. In 2022, he ran over 100 meters a season best of 10.05, and this season the Canadian raced his fastest time in Tennessee in 10.16. At the Diamond League final in Eugene, he showed the world that he's back in a sensational time of 19.76 over 200 meters. If the Canadian is able to stay healthy, a medal over 100 meters in Paris could be possible. Sanel Huge from Great Britain impressed everybody in 2023 with a great progression. The 28-year-old who is training in Jamaica with Glenn Mills, the coach of legend Usain Bolt, improved his personal record from 9.91 to 9.83. In Hungary, the British athlete finished third and won his first individual medal in his career. The tall sprinter is aiming for his first Olympic medal in Paris 2024. Oblique Seville and Kishane Thompson raced also extremely fast this season. Oblique made a very unlucky fourth place at the World Championships in a time of 9.88. Seville is only 22 years old, the Jamaican equaled his personal record in the heat at the World Championships when he dominated in 9.86. The Jamaican is such an outstanding talent. Kishane Thompson from Jamaica is the newcomer of the year. After having injury issues during the offseason, he decided only to do a couple races 2023 to be fully prepared for 2024. On the 2nd of September, the 22 year old went absolutely crazy. In a sensational personal record of 9.85, he shocked the world and finished second behind Christian Coleman in China. Hopefully the young talent will have a great preparation to surprise everybody again in 2024. Ferdinand Omanyala raced his season best at the Kipkeno Classics in a great time of 9.84. The fastest African of all time over 100 meters finished 7th at the World Championships in Hungary in a time of 10.07. At the Diamond League final in Eugene, the Kenyan proved his amazing sprint speed at the last competition of the season, when he finished third in 9.85. If the 27-year-old Omanyala is able to show consistency at the Olympic Games in Paris, he is for sure fighting for a medal too. Lizil Tebogo went absolutely crazy in 2023. As I already mentioned, the 22-year-old sprint star from Botswana won the silver medal over 100 meters at the World Championships in a new personal record of 9.88. Over 200 meters he won bronze in 19.81. The youngster also broke the African record over 200 meters in an outstanding time of 19.50 at the Diamond League in London. Letzil is one of the biggest talents in history in both events. The African is aiming for gold in Paris, but this is not an easy task for sure. Three American athletes already won gold over 100 meters at World Championships. Christian Coleman won in 2019 in Doha in an outstanding time of 9.76. Fred Curley won on home soil in Eugene in 9.86. And Noah is the current world champion in 9.83. Even when Fred Curley didn't make the final 100 meters this season, we can expect that he's coming back stronger in 2024. Noah's shape is unquestionable. Winning gold over 100 meters, 200 meters and with a 4x1 wheelie team was just astonishing. Christian Coleman played 5th in Budapest, but beat Noah at the Diamond League final in Eugene over 100 meters. As you can see, the next season will be more than exciting. Nobody can predict who will win this crazy race in Paris.
Now my question for you, who's your favorite over 100 meters? Let me know in the comments. If you missed the video about a prediction at the women's 100 meters in Paris, click up in the right corner. Thanks for watching everyone and see you next time.